To further show you how math works in Max, let's take a look at a familiar equation, converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Here is mathisfun.com first showing us verbal instructions for the equation and then the familiar symbolic math equation. So let's follow the verbal instructions. To go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, I'll multiply by a 9, divide by 5, and then add 32. So let's start with an integer, press I to create it. And I'm going to take this int and multiply it by 9. So I'll take a new object, multiply by 9, and send this in here, and then divide by 5. So a new object, I'll do divide by. I'd like to do this in floating point mode. Oops, divide by 5. And then add 32. So, there we go. And the output of this should be in Fahrenheit. Oops, I need float. So just a comment here, input is in Celsius, output is in Fahrenheit. So let's say that I have, I heard on the radio the other day that it was going to be extremely hot somewhere and they said it would be 50 degrees Celsius and I want to know how hot that is. That's 122. Wow, that is hot. So to go from Fahrenheit to Celsius, I need to do it in the opposite order. So max only flows from inlets through outlets down. So it's not like I could just change this outlet here and have it give me the answer in Celsius up here. I actually have to reverse the flow of data. So what I'll do is copy all of this, Command C, or if you're on Windows, Control, and command V to paste. And I'm just going to change these objects here. So from Fahrenheit to Celsius, first I need to take away 32. So minus 32. Then multiply by 5. And then divide by 9. And my output should be here. So let's test and see if that works. 122 is 50 degrees. If I wanted to find out about normal body temperature, I could do 98.6. Why did that go away? Because this is an integer box, not a float. If I wanted to start with floats, I would have to have a float box to begin with, and then I need to change this to a point, and this one also to a point. And now I could do 98.6, 37 degrees Celsius.